So in this problem, they give us a little computer spreadsheet. So we've got, you know, the columns A, B, C. We have rows 1, 2, and 3. And they want us to calculate negative of this quantity A1 minus, okay, in parentheses, C2 minus A3 in parentheses, plus C2, uh, the little star means multiplication, so C2 multiplied by B1. And we want to get one of these values. So all it is is just reading off the values from the, the table and then doing some arithmetic. So, all right, so I'm just going to start filling in things here. So we've got negative, there's my brackets. Okay, so I need to find the value for the entry A1. Well, I just find the column A and then 1 where those meet. So A1 is going to be the value negative 2. So that's going to be our A1, that's going to give us negative 2. Then we have minus. Okay, same thing, I'm going to find C2, so I find the, the C column, and I go down to the second row, that's going to give me a value of 3. Minus A3, so again I go to the A column, and I go down to the third row, that's going to give me the value 5. Plus C2, okay, so again I'm going to go to the C column, down to row 2, that's going to give me the value 3. Multiplied, I'm going to write, instead of using the little star notation, I'm going to use the little dot, dot uh, notation for multiplication. So it says then we multiply by B1, so there's the B column, and I just go down to the first row, that's going to be negative 4. Okay, so now let's simplify this. So the order of operations, let's try to do things inside parentheses first. So I've got my negative, negative 2 minus, so 3 minus 5, that's going to be negative 2. We can also go ahead and multiply. 3 multiplied by negative 4, that's going to give me negative 12. So we could write plus negative 12 if you wanted to write it that way. Alright, so lots of negatives floating around here. I'm going to get rid of these parentheses and try to clean it up. So there's my negative 2. I've got a negative and a negative, which is going to be a positive. Still have the 2. A positive and a negative is a negative. So inside the brackets, I've got negative 2 plus 2 minus 12. Well, negative 2 plus 2, that's going to give me 0 minus 12. 0 minus 12, that's going to be negative 12. And a negative and a negative is the same thing as a positive, so we'll be left with positive 12. So brackets and parentheses mean the same thing. Um, sometimes people will use brackets just to sort of visually break it up a little bit better. So there's nothing special about this problem having brackets. They could have easily had parentheses at the very beginning. But the idea is when you have lots of parentheses floating around, just visually sometimes it can be a little hard to read. So that's the only reason why that happens. So, Looks like our answer to this problem is just going to be positive 12.